Welcome back to Arcade Garage. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you haven't already. You never do. So, where I'm at with EcoJet, uh, I'm pretty sure my last video showed that I made the, the dump. You can see it a bit better in the light here. If you are new to the channel, this is my V6 Commodore. That there is an Ecotech. It's um, extensively modified, forged, canned, obviously custom intake, corn fed boost, turbo manifolds, made my own alternator relocation, electric water pump, full lines, got an Adar Turbo Smart 50mm wastegate. This isn't my exhaust for normal, this is just for uh, roll racing, drags if they allow it, and power crews. I will have a full four inch exhaust, but you know, until I get it to my fab guy, at least I can get it started up once I get the wiring done and whatnot. But yeah, so. Yesterday, I ended up putting my battery back on because I uh, removed my fuse box here. Uh, this is where the catch camera goes, so that's why I didn't bother shaving this all nice and making it all smooth. Um, relocated that, so extended wires. I wanted to test it. Everything works. So I will quickly hook the battery on. I haven't charged this battery in a year, and it still has enough charge to do everything. So... That's on there. And then, this is something that you guys haven't seen yet that I have not disclosed, but I got myself a digital dash, which hopefully you guys can just see there. Uh, I opted to buy, I got the Mako Motorsports mount and opted for the two indicators, so um, I wired them up, so as you can see. Left one works. Sorry, right one works, left one works. I've got my surround here with the two gauges, um, I've ordered the gauges, one's on back order, which, you know, the website says it's in stock, but then it's not. So that's where that's at. And then, um, today I've got, I'm going to finish wiring underneath everything, so all the wires that go for all the dash, the gauges, center console and everything, I'm going to get all those wires tucked up, tied, nice and neat. And then I'm gonna get started on routing the ECU wires that'll come out into the engine bay to go to my breakout harness. Uh, I'll probably hook up all the power wires to the relays, I've got to add two relays in, so probably today is just gonna be all routing of wires getting all the reload and fuse box all done and then tomorrow will probably be the ECU side so I'm going to get into that um, and I'll cut back after once I've finished everything underneath the car that I, well under the dash that I need to you guys don't need to watch that and we'll just carry on from there all right bit of an update where I'm at I've got all the wires that are running across consolidated to one area um, it's a bit dark um, so let's go into that loom which will then this will get tied up up here on the underside so you won't see that and then from here I've split these all into different things so for example I've got this all goes to a switch 12 volts so which will go to one of the relays uh, this one here is the throttle pedal so these are all the throttle pedal stuff I need to go to the ECU I'm pretty sure there's a power and ground in there which I'll sort out after uh, I've got <clears throat> these here are all signal wires from sensors or dials or whatever to the ECU. So I know they all get. Oh, sorry, this one's actually to the shifter. This one's to the shifter gauge. Um, this one here is all the sensors and signals and switches to the ECU. So I know that this one goes to the ECU physically. This here is the reverse light, so from the gearbox, so I've got to wire this into the connector under there to send to reverse lights, and the other wire goes to the gauge to turn that to reverse, and then all my chassis grounds. So, it'll be pretty easy to terminate, make this nice and quick, and then I can get on to running the power wires to there and the ground wires from there and everything, this and that. So, that, that's where I'm at. Well, I've got to run inside for an hour or two and do a few inductions online for the next job site. So I'm going to do that and then get back into this and we'll see how far we can get. So I gave up on doing the inductions a couple of hours ago and just came back out here. Um, everything now, P1 
power wire so relays and everything uh, everything else in the car is wired up and tested and working so now it's literally just the ECU wiring which I've got there from there on that Mighty Car Mods little seat I've already pulled out all the wires I don't need so literally now it's just uh, put the ECU where I want it run the lead out as a flying lead and add in the 12 volt feeds um, 5 volt supplies sensor grounds to all my patch harness and whatnot and then that's pretty much it done but um so all these wires down here are the ones that need to go to the ECU so once that leads in here I'll do all that but um, and these here are the power going out to like coils injectors etc etc um, let me try get underneath here yeah, with you guys so hopefully you can kind of see that that's my new relay fuse block the six there made up two more up there which will be for the water pump and the e-throttle um everything's all tied i got a bit messy i'm gonna neaten up once it all works but it's all tied in ignore that brown wire that's just the alternator light dash for the dash which i'm not using and then it just all runs here, which is cable tied in, just so it's out the way. And everything's all tucked in there and out the way, so that's all pretty neat. I don't know if you guys can see any of that. Probably not. But yeah, I'm going to start to edit this video. And um, while well, I'm finishing off inductions, and then we can carry on with the ACU side of things tomorrow. So... Good night for tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, entire day's passed, but got all the wires into the engine bay. I um, dealt them out with multimeter for continuity to make sure that it was correct. The color coding, I found quite a fair few of them weren't correct, which is lucky I did. Then bunched them up in their corresponding pairs. So, like water pump, we got sensors, you know, like uh, coolant, air temp, oil, fuel pressure, all that crap. Got my trigger wiring, injectors, throttle body. This is the Wideband O2. These here are the last couple I need to do. This is like a Mac valve map sensor and left front wheel speed. I'm going to travel up to the ABS thing. I've got to finish that, what I'll do later. And this one here is for the uh, passenger side coil, which I'll finish up later. Um, there's a lot of wires. There's a lot of wires I've got to add to that. A lot of grounds, uh, a lot of feeds and whatnot. These are just the trigger wires. And the black one's the main feed out of the relay. Um, I did get the driver's side one done. You won't even see when it's all done because it tucks right up the back of the firewall. And then here it pops out here. And then this here goes to the coils itself, so nice and easy to plug in and reach to if need be. Like when you update the firmware, you don't do it with your coils plugged in because there's no, there's no security there with the coils being disconnected. It could leave the coils on and they could burn out and start a fire. So it's easy to reach to, easy to disconnect if I just want to turn the motor over, build up oil pressure or whatever reason. Um, inside the cabin, which you probably won't see, it's going to be too dark, but I still got to join all those wires up. I'm going to leave that to the end, but um, they'll end up being pretty neat in there anyway. So, tomorrow I've got to do a face to face induction from 12 to 4, so I might try to smash out a bit of this beforehand. Probably just get these sensors done, maybe this coil is done. I've also got here all the 12 volt feeds, the 5 volt feeds, grounds to the head, sensor grounds, 5 volt out. Um, I've got to join all them as well, which I might look at. And then after that, when I get back, I'll probably just go along and put all the Deutsch connectors on. Um, tape up as much as I can. I'm going to run out of tester tape, so I'm going to have to order some more while I'm at work. But that's probably where we're going to leave this video. Here, so if I don't film some more on this one tomorrow, this will be the end. 
So if you've seen this, I didn't. But yeah, as per usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And hopefully the next video, the video after this should be the Christmas video, actually Christmas Day. So I'm not sure if I'm going to release the video then or I'll skip a week. But maybe, maybe we'll have a wiring we'll finish and we might give it a crank on Christmas Day. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks again.